The STV News Weekend Report. I'm Terry Leonard. The Saskatchewan Science Centre opened its doors to the public for the first time today. Visitors also got a look at two special exhibitions, the Winner's Showcase and the Science and Technology Expo Tour, which was making its first stop on a province-wide tour. This 17-foot flying saucer is the undisputed star of the Science and Technology Expo Tour. The saucer is piloted by remote control and is a prototype of a commercial vehicle that was developed for aerial logging. But it didn't go in any direction and spin on its axis 360 degrees. Hammerstrom says this sort of airship has paved the way for bigger and better things. Bigger airships um, used for heavy lift in, the, in, in just about any industry, industry um, such as logging, mining. The Science and Technology Expo Tour showcases a number of different provincial industry displays. What we're, we are trying to do with this tour as well as the entire week is raise the public's awareness to advanced technology in the province of Saskatchewan, the relevance it has to school children as well as businesses and the general public, what we're doing in Saskatchewan and what it means to us in our daily lives. These displays are part of the Winner's Showcase, which features winning entries from school science fairs. Rodney Hatzel from Bruno created Photovor, a car with bug-like capabilities. It's a car that sees, uh, detects light with the three eyes it has. Uh, it goes for the best concentrated light in the room. It'll dodge uh, dark colors, uh, shadows, baseboards, so it'll go around the room without hitting walls or obstacles. These students can tell you everything you need to know about tornadoes. This is a tornado tube. It's kind of a toy. It just shows you what a tornado looks like, basically. And this creation shows the early stages of a tornado. You can imagine that the bubbles are the warm air and the water is the cool air. Now, the warm air rises and the cool air falls down and behind it. That starts the rotation that's uh, represented by the water wheel there. This horizontal rotation is then pushed into a vertical rotation by a warm air updraft. And then this um, vertical rotation is intensified by a crosswind into a tornado. The student entries won't be a part of the Science and Technologies Expo Tour of the province. But residents of five other Saskatchewan locations will still be able to view the industry displays to see the latest Saskatchewan developments in science and technology. Well, it's been